Hello everyone. Let's study about polar and nonpolar molecules. The dielectrics is a two kinds called as nonpolar dielectric. The second kind is called as polar dielectric. We'll first look at nonpolar molecules first. Here the centers of positive and negative charge would coincide. That is in these atoms as given here like oxygen or hydrogen, the electrons are equally shared. So we don't find any region where there is excess of electrons or excess of positive charge. So these molecules are called as nonpolar molecules. Now since we do not find any poles here, basically here poles means it's either positive or negative charge. Since we do not find any poles here, these molecules will not have a permanent dipole moment. Recall that dipole moment is given as Q into 2A. Since these molecules do not have any poles, this would be zero. Examples of uh, non-polar molecules as discussed earlier are oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. Now, these non-polar molecules are represented by symbol like this which means that the center of positive and negative charges coinciding this happens when there is equal sharing of electrons suppose if we apply an electric field to this molecule think of single molecule we learned in the previous lecture that dielectrics means they can be polarized so because of the applied field the center of positive charge was shift now. Earlier, the center of positive and negative was at a given point, but here it will shift. So, the molecule becomes distorted where the center of positive would be on one side and center of negative would be on the other side. So, this is a to be polarized. Here, we created poles now. This would give rise to a dipole moment. So, if you look at a condition where you look at a slab, if you look at a portion of a dielectric, and if the applied field is zero, then the molecules will not have a dipole moment because the center of positive and negative would coincide. In presence of an applied field, then for each atom, if you apply a field like this, then for each molecule, basically for each molecule, the center of positive and negative would coincide. Now what happens here is, here a net dipole moment has been created. We get a dipole moment like this. So earlier when the field was zero, the dipole moment of each one was zero. In presence of a field, we get a dipole moment for each molecule. Next is polar molecules. Here for polar molecules, the centers of positive and negative charge are separated which means we will have poles hence we will have a dipole moment for example if we look at HCl molecule it will be H plus ion and then Cl minus ion so this atom itself has more of positive charge and this has more of negative charge here the center of positive and negative are not coinciding they are present a little far away so this gives rise to a dipole hence it will have a dipole moment p as given here it will have dipole moment but if you take a if you take a substance which has a lot of molecules then dipole moment of each would be aligned in different directions let's represent them by an arrow so this end would be minus charge and this is plus charge so if we take a portion of a dielectric then here each molecule has a dipole moment same unlike a non-polar molecule here each has a dipole moment for example the dipole moment of one molecule may be like this one like this it like different orientations such that the net dipole moment would be zero so each molecule has its own dipole moment but net dipole moment is equal to zero now in this case as seen here 
even if the applied field is 0, the net type moment is 0. If we apply a field, then what happens is these will be aligned in a given direction. So the dipoles would be aligned like this. So earlier they were aligned randomly. Now in presence of an external field, these are aligned in a given direction. So if you read out the diagram here, then what you get is something of this kind. This is what we get. So this will be like minus and positive. It's aligned like this. And same here also. So each molecule will be aligned in the direction of the field. So in presence of an external applied field. Now what you can look at this is, you can look at this end of the dietary having more of negative charge and this end containing more of positive charge. So you can think that these are balanced, these are balanced, this balance is this, this balance is this. So what remains is we have a region containing negative charge and a region containing positive charge. So here an inbuilt field is obtained. So because of the applied field we get a field which is from plus to minus. So this is a internal field which has been created. Similarly we will have a surface charge density called as minus sigma which is induced and this is plus sigma that is if you look at cross section of it if you look at in side view this end will have negative charges and this end of it this end will have more of positive charges so we are calling this as sigma i sigma means it is surface charge density and this is because of the induced surface charge density. In case of a conductor, we have seen in its properties that for a conductor, if we apply an electric field, so if you apply an external field, then the electrons would be aligned in one direction and the plus charge would be at the other end of it, such that this would create an inbuilt field. But for a conductor, we learned that net field inside is zero. Therefore, the conductor, the sum of applied field or the vector sum of applied field and inbuilt field is equal to zero. But for insulator, it is not zero. For insulator, we do get an inbuilt field, but this inbuilt field is less than the applied field. Therefore, sum of the applied field plus inbuilt field is not zero unlike a conductor. So we will have a net field in presence of a applied electric field and also we will have a induced charge density as given here. There are many examples of polar molecules. One example was HCl. Other example would be water molecule. You can think of water molecule like this, it contains say oxygen, hydrogen and then hydrogen, oxygen here, hydrogen hydrogen and this will be oxygen. So this will have more of positive, positive this will have more negative charge. So here we have dipole created or you can assume that the center, we can assume that the center of these two positive will be somewhere here. So in that case we have a dipole like this. So one example of a polar molecule would be water molecule. 